Hey, before you go into that comment section, I already know what you're gonna say, so you don't have to go and say it. Yes. My stupid shirt is wrong. When I bought it, I just thought it looked like a cool shirt. And then realized that technically this right one is upside down, backwards. It's wrong. I know it's wrong. I've been knowing it's wrong, but I still think it's a cool shirt. And it's also appropriate for today because, yeah, Joy-Cons, accessories, that's what this video is all about. Accessories! Obviously, I make a lot of content on this channel of all shapes, forms, and sizes. I would say mostly I review video games. And sometimes I donate a thousand dollars worth of Switch games to live streamers. But something I don't typically do is talk about accessories for the Switch. At least good ones. <laughs> Actual, good, useful, fun, exciting ones. Large reason that actually motivated me to make this video is because I bought that new Switch. The box is there. I don't want to take it down. I'll get a shot of it. You remember the video. It was like a month ago at this point, and I wanted to do a follow-up. Like, how is the Switch? And I wanted to do a little wrap-up of the new Switch a month later, and was it worth getting? And it just so happens that Satisfy, the incredible company that makes these grips, they reached out to me and they said, hey, do you mind if we sponsor one of your videos? And I said, no, I don't mind at all. Reason being, you probably don't even really have to sponsor it, but don't tell them that. Because I love this freaking thing. If you've been watching my channel for the last year or so, you'll notice that this grip has been glued to my Switch in almost every video. I am not messing around here. I cannot play my Switch portably without this anymore. All right, well, first up, first up, before we get to anything, I want to say that this right here, this is actually my new Switch. Or is that my new Switch? This right here is my new Switch, the one that I bought a month ago, the one with the better battery life, and I gotta say, oh, it's so freaking cool. I love it so much. Okay, I think I have, I have more than shot my battery on this one as it is. Remember, this is my entire channel. The first, like, two years of the Switch's lifespan, I spent playing all my games on this thing, and I reviewed, like, 300 games, so it's pretty safe to say the battery probably isn't as good a condition as it was when I bought it. I was getting to the point where I had to charge this thing relentlessly, in handheld mode. If I wanted to play handheld, I had to at least play it near an outlet. So I was still putting in hours and hours and hours into the new Switch, and let me tell you, in the first, I think, week, I actually only had to charge it once. Playing it to the point where I would get sleepy tired and go to bed, put it on the dock, and then the next day the same thing would happen. I wasn't actually having to charge it in the middle of any of my sessions. So yeah, honestly, if, if a better battery is all you're looking for, that new Switch is well worth that upgrade. And while we're talking about playing in handheld mode, again, I can guarantee you for every minute of that story I just told you when I was playing in handheld mode, this bad boy was strapped onto my Switch. At this, it's so funny because when I first got the Switch for the first, I'd say, year and a half, I played perfectly fine like this and didn't seem to have any issues. But once I got this and I threw it on, oh, there was no going back. And now whenever I do try and play my Switch without it, my thumbs look like, I literally feel like my thumbs are cramping. I can't, I can't not have this on my Switch now. So this, as I said, is their new design. If you didn't get the old design, don't worry about it because the new one is out. It's really easy to just slide down onto the switch. There's rubber inserts on the inside, which actually prevent the case from even touching the switch. They've actually uh, cut out in this new design a little groove here. So you can see there's, there's like a two millimeter gap in between your switch and the case. These are my new Joy-Cons that I got a month ago and I've had that grip on my switch Every day since then, there's no markings on it whatsoever because it's only that red rubber insert that touches it. And if you do have that old grip, because I have recommended it a bunch in the past, I thought it was really comfortable before. It's definitely more comfortable now. I'm fine either way. It's just a very comfortable, and this is how I've explained it in the past. It honestly feels like I'm just holding a really long PlayStation 4 controller. The handles feel very similar to that. It's so stupidly comfortable. Yeah, it even stands up on its own, which is awesome. I don't have to try and prop it up with something like I have to with that. So there's a bunch of different options if you wanted to buy one of these. And again, I, I highly recommend it. It's such a, it's for its price too. It's such a perfect accessory to get any Switch fan. So they do have a couple of bundle options. This is the bigger bundle option. Obviously this case here is much slimmer, much smaller. 
smells so good. Okay, <laughs> sorry, that was weird. So these cases come with places to hold your Switch games, a zip and a little felt liner to hold whatever you want. You can put your charge cables, which it does come with a charge cable in here as well. Oh, and actually I've been excited for this. He told me about this. It's like a little, it's like the, the opposite of comfort, but it's like a little thing to keep your Joy-Cons together and safe. And then if we take out that brand new one and put this one in, it just fits in so snug. Put the felt case over it so nothing damages it. Even secure it in place with a little bit of Velcro and you're good to go. These things are really tough. This is the case that my friend RGT85 threw off of a bridge with his Switch inside to prove how sturdy they were. And the best part is if you use my code BEATEMUPS10 at checkout, you'll get 10% off anything on the Satisfy store. Next! <laughs> okay, I bought these today. Uh, fortunately, I pre-ordered them at my GameStop because apparently they're sold out everywhere. They are the Hori Damon X Machina version. I'm not sure if they even do another version. The only thing that's actually Damon X Machina about it is these are red and the X is the X from the game, which that makes sense. It's called the Hori Split Pad Pro. And essentially what it aims to do is recreate the Pro Controller, similar to the Pro Controller, but you know, cut it in half and slap it on either side like Joy-Cons. It's a really clever idea. It's something that I have said multiple times that Nintendo should do and should have done by now. But here we go. We finally have a Pro Controller we can use kind of like Joy-Cons. It's missing a lot of features. It can only be used when it's clicked in. You can't take them off and try and use them. They just won't do anything. Here's all the... I can't speak that language. Here's all the features it's missing. This product does not support the following features. Gyroscope, motion IR camera, accelerometer, player LED, HD rumble, uh, home button notification LED, and NFC. So it's, you know, it's stripped down, pared down. It doesn't do all the stuff that Joy-Cons do or even a pro controller does. It's literally just a controller. It's gonna set you back 50 bucks, which isn't terrible. I mean, for 20 bucks more, you get a lot more features out of the pro, but again, you're paying for this cut in half feature. And I sat down and I played some Astral Chain with it today. And I gotta say, it took some getting used to. It does not feel like a pro controller. I think the best way I can describe it is it feels more clunky. Like everything just feels bigger and more clunky. Uh, that's not inherently a bad thing though. It actually is a really nice feeling controller. And once I started to get used to it, I stopped screwing up so much. But overall, it is really comfortable. I will say, I'm not because it's sponsored. I do prefer the feel of this in my hand with just normal Joy-Cons because these grooves wrap around so much, it's just really comfortable to hold it. Again, feels like a PlayStation 4 controller or even kind of like a Pro Controller when you have these grips to kind of hold on to. This is sort of just like a, a small indent groove. It, it, you kind of feel more like you're slamming your hands into the side. Don't get me wrong, it's still comfortable, just not nearly as comfortable. I do like it. I like it a lot. I could see myself using this for sure. I was excited using this. I, initially putting them on, it was weird because, because you have this big gap where the screen is way further down than the controller is raised up. And it's fine. It just looks really weird. It looks wrong. It looks like you've created a monster. These things are so big in contrast to the Joy-Cons that it actually, it, it kind of makes my, it tricks my brain into thinking that the Switch screen is actually smaller than it is. But here is by far the coolest thing about these Joy-Cons. There is back buttons. I love back buttons. I love programmable back buttons and that's exactly what these are. So it's really easy to program. There's an assign button here, you just hold that down and then whatever button you press next, it'll automatically map that as the back button on that side of the controller. So for example, right now, I've mapped just the clicking in of the thumbstick to that button so that if I wanted to start sprinting, I just gotta hit this back button and I don't have to click in the thumbstick. Ultimately, I really like these. I think for 50, it's a good price for sure. 40 would feel like a steal. So I think sitting them at around 50, especially considering there's no competition on the market as far as straight up buying something like this, they kind of have the monopoly right now. And I do think 50 is a good price. Having said that, again, I know it's sponsored. Believe me if you want, don't if you don't. But I do prefer using the actual Nintendo hardware. I'll always prefer using actual Nintendo hardware and being able to strap my own grips onto it just like this. For me personally, this is more my preference. It's more comfortable and it's easier to use. Oh, there's also turbo buttons. 
I don't need them, <laughs> but they're there. Okay, look, I know. I know what you've been waiting for. I know why you're still here. You might even have skipped to this entire video to get to this point. I don't like that, but at least you're still here. Uh, you want to see these, and trust me, I want to show you these. The guy that made them reached out to me and said, Hey, big fan, I was wondering, do you want to check out the Joy-Cons that I make that have LED lights in the buttons? And I said, yeah, <laughs> yeah I do. And they actually get way cooler than you would even think. Once you download the app, which you can find on the website if you do pick these up, you download the app, you install it to your Android or your Apple, and then it automatically, automatically picks up these lights. You don't have to connect them or anything like that, it just automatically does it, okay? Now look what I can do. I can make them blue. I can make them uh, slightly more blue. <laughs> That's kind of like a purple. Green. Uh, red and not only is that preset, but you can literally pick any color you want and they'll just stay like that while you're playing games uh, You can also Decide which one you want to change. So if I want one to be uh, Blue and the other to be red. I can do that too. <laughs> it's really easy to do it You might have noticed if you were paying attention throughout the video I had it on color changing it was just rotating and you can set the speeds for that too And then something I really like and I preloaded some cool music for this so hopefully won't get claimed for it <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, you can play music and it'll change the colors to the beat of the music And there's probably even more things that you can do on here. There's something where you can record your own audio I'm not sure what that would do. There's more options. There's timing options You can set different times and then obviously just all the different colors So the place that does these the guy that does this is called less stat mods uh, com. I'll leave links down below. He's also giving you 10% off if you use the same code beatemups10 at his checkout. He seems like a really nice guy. We've been talking a lot about these things. It's kind of like, kind of just like an Etsy project in a way. He does some other things. He has his own website and it's all just like him and on his own making these things one at a time. So don't go and overload him with orders. But well, I, I'm do <laughs> if you want to do I'm sure he won't mind. Before you do go, there's a couple things I need to break down and I told him I was going to break these down to start with the price you have to factor in that not only is he having to buy joy cons so right there you do have to buy the joy cons from him so that's your 70 80 us or whatever then there's the led lights and then whatever wiring goes into it that you have to then buy and then there's the labor and i know as someone that cracked these bad boys open uh it takes a while to open them up put them back together let alone add things in and wire them you're paying for a lot of time here so right now he's selling them for 160 euros. I think that works out to 170, 180 US. It's, it is essentially double the price of buying Joy-Cons, but again, you do have to factor in those things and they are really cool. Like they're unique. They're an art project. They're a piece of, they're a piece of art, shiny art. For me, put them up in my collection behind me in videos because for me, it's such a decorative art piece. It looks so freaking cool. And like, sure, yeah, you can use them while you're gaming and everything. But for me, if I'm spending 170 on Joy-Cons, for something like this, I'm gonna want to keep them pristine and nice and probably not use them and wear them down But that's just me. You can do what you want. I'm sorry. I keep touching my hair. It's so hot You can do what you want and he can do any colors of joy cons doesn't have to be you know The purple ones he did those for me because he knew I liked my purple ones He added colors to them for me if you are someone who wants to buy these and actually use them I do feel like I need to I need to show you something before that. Um, for me, this isn't really that much of an issue at all because again, I use this and we're gonna get to that in a second, but because he has had to add in these lights and these wirings, there isn't much wiggle room in there. They've stuffed these joy- Nintendo stuffed these Joy-Cons packed as packed as they can to keep them the small size. So as soon as you start trying to add anything in there, there's literally no room. They are slightly bulging where the wiring and the extra circuit board he has to put in, it's just there isn't room. There's nothing you can do about it. So it is bulging and it's something I wanted to pull to your attention. For me, they fit in here just the same. And once it's in there, I don't see it, I don't notice it, whatever. It's a small price to pay for something this cool, I suppose. I'm just gonna put them in my collection anyway because I don't want to wear them down. When I first got these things out of the box, I just sat there flicking between all these colors 
changing them from blue to red, you know, mixing up the size, letting the music play out, which I can't do without getting claimed in this video. I really don't even know what goes into making something like this. Like, it's, it's baffling. And I do like that because he used the clear case, I can see the new wires he's added in. I actually like that look. This is definitely a treat yourself accessory. <laughs> it's not necessary, I don't think. It's definitely a treat yourself. Or treat someone you love because I don't know, man. I think this is just the coolest looking thing. But if you buy anything from this video, I do ask that you seriously consider the Satisfied Grip. Everything else is cool, is fine, is awesome, is great, looks good, serves a purpose. But this, it's just a heaven sent necessary item. This goes hand in hand with my Switch. It is the only Switch accessory that I actually use. Slap like on this video, hair flip on that subscribe button. That's all from me. Love you guys. Love you guys. I'm gonna go uh, play with my, my fancy lights.